This tutorial explains how to combine base R, ggplot2 and lattice plots in a grid of plots in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And if we click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data contains 6 rows and 2 columns which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now if we want to draw these data using base R, the ggplot2 package and the lattice packages, we first need to create a base R plot and we need to create a plot object which is containing this plot. And we can do that by running the plot function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom right that a new line plot is appearing which was created by the basic installation of the R programming language. And then in the next step in line 6 I'm using the record plot function to store the output of this plot window in a new data object which I'm calling my base. So if you run line 6 of the code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new plot object is appearing which is called my base. In the next step I'm going to create a ggplot2 plot and for this I first need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 8 and 9. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code and after running this line of code we can create a ggplot2 plot as you can see in lines 11 and 12. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right that a new plot object is appearing which is called my ggplot. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that we have created the same plot as in the previous example. However, this time we have used the ggplot2 package to create this plot. And then last but not least, we also need to create a lattice plot as you can see in lines 15 to 19 of the code. So in lines 15 and 16 of the code I'm installing and loading the package. I have installed this package as well so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 16. And then in line 18 of the code I'm using the xy plot function to create a lattice plot. And I'm storing the output of this in a new plot object which I'm calling my lattice. And we can draw our plot by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see our line plot once again but this time created by the lattice package. Now if we want to draw these three plots in the same grid of plots, then we can use the grid graphics and the cowplot packages as you can see in the following example starting in line 21. So in lines 21 to 25 of the code I'm first installing and loading those two packages. I have installed both packages already so for that reason I'm just going to load them with line 22 and line 25 of the code. And then after running these lines of code we can use the plot underscore grid function as you can see in lines 27 to 32. And within this function I'm specifying the names of our three plot objects, my base, my ggplot and my lattice. Then I'm specifying the number of columns of our grid of plots. I'm also using the hjust argument to justify where the plots are located and I'm using the labels argument to add a main title on top of each of the plots. So if we run lines 27 to 32 of the code you can see at the bottom right that a new grid of plots is created and as you can see on the left side we see our base R plot as indicated by the title. In the middle we see the ggplot2 plot and on the right side we see the lattice plot. So in this example I have explained how to combine our three plots using the grid graphics at the cowplot packages. However, it's also possible to use the ggplotlify and the patchwork packages for this task. And we can do that as you can see in lines 34 to 42. So in lines 34 to 38 I'm first installing and loading the packages. I have installed these packages as well so for that reason I'm just going to load them with lines 35 and 38. And then in the next step in lines 40 to 42 of the code we can use the sggplot function. Then we need to specify our ggplot object as basement 
And then we can also use the sggplot function to convert our lattice plot to a ggplot2 plot as well. So if you run lines 40 to 42 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that another grid of plots is appearing. And once again, we have combined a base R, a ggplot2 and a lattice plot in the same grid of plots. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.